Hello, welcome to another episode of my Final Fantasy Record Keeper playthrough. Um, today I'm going to be explaining the bosses on um, the bosses in the Record Dungeon. But first, as you can see, I have my new character here. As you probably as you probably know, her name is Urara. So we actually get her in the Record Dungeon. And I also did a little research, and apparently here is where you use the Crystal Water. And the crystal water pretty much works the same as um, kind of like the moats. You select your character, then you select what crystal water, crystal water you want. For example, this is um, um, like power, um, defense, magic, magic defense, spirit, and I guess this is HP here. And you want you want to um, choose how much you want to use, and then you can see that her HP increases by. Um, a certain amount for every um, for every um, ability. So HP increases by um, like 60, um, I'm bad at math. <laughs> I'm bad. I'm very bad at math. Like um, I think for 60, 70, by 40, and all other all other ones of course increase by one. Right here, six. Um, Oh, a spirit increases. Yeah, spirit increases by one as well. But yeah, anyways, if you use it, you do get a little grid right here. Um, as you can see, I increased her HP by one right here, so it has a um, 40. And the more you use it, the more the grid kind of expands like that. So you can, it's a kind of way to, um, you know, increase your um, your um, strength even further. Without you having to use moats. Okay. Anyways, and so let's explain the bosses for um, the dungeon and record dungeon right here. Okay. And the first boss, of course, is uh, as you can see, I already I did them all here. Uh, it's this third dungeon boss, um, Guard Scorpion, and I said that it only uses physical attacks. Um, when his when his tail is down, every three turns he will raise his um, tail every three turns, and then after one turn he will it will put his tail down. Um, of course, if you hit him while his tail is up, he will counter with laser, and it gives you what um, like some advice here. Um, power break him to reduce, reduce his attack. Use um, Owen. To increase the attack and of course cure, because you only have a certain amount of characters right here. Okay, and then uh, next one is six, three, four, five, six here. This is the next boss right here, and we will be fighting uh, Yu Yumiru. And it says that his attacks can cause slow. Um, can hit everybody. Um, every three three turns, he will put his head in the shell. Um, every one, every um, after one turn, he will stick out his head again. And of course, if you hit him while he'll, if you hit him while while he's in his shell, he will counter with one thousand bolt. Um, the key advice is. Um, Um, if he will use Nen Enki, which can cause slow, but counter you, sh you should counter with haste. Um, use haste to you know dispel the um, not dispel, but to counter the slow. And don't hit him while he's he has his head stuck in the um, his shell. Eight, six, seven, eight. Next is this one, <clears throat> Final Fantasy VI. <clears throat> um, you'll be fighting these gu uh, guard. Guardian and um, Shirba, Shirba Rio, Silver Leo. You'll be fighting them three of at the, all three at the same time. They only use physical attacks. Um, the guard guard leader, right there, can use stop. Um, he also can um, hit everybody with uh, H the. An attack that does HP damage. It doesn't really hit too strong, so you don't have to worry about it. 
And once you defeat everybody, defeat all, you win the battle. Um, use weak polka to reduce everybody's attack. And defeat guard leader. Okay. And then we have um, nine. This is uh, magic tech armor. So magic tech armor, the one, magic tech armor A is the one on top. Magic tech armor B is the one on the bottom. Uh, magic tech armor um, B uh, can hit everybody and just defeat them all. It says defeat them all. It says key to victory. You confuse confuse them so it's best to confuse one and then focus on the other one um, that way it has a chance to actually not hit you so that'll, that'll be good use weak polka and um, defeat magic take armor B first because he attacks everybody so it's best to defeat the bottom magic take okay okay then we got this one here, Zumbaba. Um, it says that he hits everybody with a physical attack. Yeah, then he could hit a group of, I think a group. What is this? Um, at the beginning of the battle, you will have a full gauge. I say a full gauge. Um, Use um, Fuinken to absorb Fumbaba's um, lightning, lightning attack. So Ceres has her soul break. So use that to absorb the lightning attack from Fumbaba. Come on. Do, 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 do. <sighs> okay. Gotta wait now. Come on. Come on now. Mm. Okay, there we go. Okay. I think that was it, right? Um, you can also use um, the other person's ability to increase everybody's attack. Protect. It's best to pro um, use Protect first on Urara because she's going to be very weak level. And usually the bosses always seem to go after Urara first. You fight Fumbaba again. Said that he does attack the front row with a magic attack. Again, you start with the battle with um, um, a, a full, just one full gauge. This one here, this burst attack, which is from Tina's. And then every certain amount of turns that pass, um, it will get stronger, so best to use at the very beginning. Okay. Um, you can use face to increase magic and unfaith to decrease um, Fumbaba's magic. Okay. Then we have 13. Um, this guy right here, I forgot his name, but it says that it is attack only with mag um, physical attacks they use lightning um, it can hit everybody with lightning based attacks you know the key to victory is to use Protega to increase defense of course and um, box step to decrease it, decrease the enemy's um, defense okay and then we'll be fighting the Psycoms. So you'll be fighting all three of them at the same time. Uh, once you defeat them all, you win. You win. So the key to victory is use weak polka to reduce everybody's attack. 
And of course it's best to defeat the lower the lower guards first. Okay. And then Behemoth. <coughs> you only use the physical attacks. Um, you can hit everybody with attack with an attack physical attack. Um, the key to victory is um, best to use um, Hikitsukeru and use protect as well. Um, use protect on the person who used Hikitsukeru because they're gonna they're gonna be receiving the attacks a lot, so that way you can increase their defense. So Snow, um, he will use Hikitsukeru, which um, we call that draws all attacks to him. So you protect on him so he can actually absorb all those attacks. And um, decrease your battle speed to one. <laughs> okay. And then we have four here. You fight um, Zu. It only uses physical attacks. Um, it can hit everybody with a magic attack. Um, with a physical attack. Key to victory, use weak polka and protega. And then it kind of splits here and you can fight um, actually Kain here. So, um, you probably won't get a master the first time because he, um, you can defeat him but um, it will be hard to get mastered. I think you should get mastered after you actually kind of defeat the, this, first, um, this first island. Then you can go come back and actually get a master. But it says that he only uses physical attacks. Um, he can attack hit everybody with a physical attack. When his HP reaches a certain amount, um, his defense and magic defense will go down, but his attack and speed will increase. Key to victory: you protect. And um, most likely your protect will run out, so make sure you um, use protect again. Because at, towards the very end, again, he gets stronger. So you don't want to um, you don't want to take that damage. You know when your protect is um, when your protect when your protect disappears. And. Mm -hmm. When you def when you reduce um, his magic defense, then use um, um, your summon. Reduce your battle speed to one. Okay. And then we have uh, Mistra again. It says that um, it can attack everybody with a physical attack. Every turn, every three turns, um, it will turn into mist. Uh, when it's in mist form, after one turn, it will re um, return to its original state. If you attack it, if you attack it when during its mist state, it will counter. The key to victory: use shell to increase your magic defense. Um, don't attack when she when it's in mist form. Reduce the battle speed to one. Okay, then we'll be fighting these guardians here. This is a little bit tricky. Um, it says you'll be fighting um, General, General and um, Baron Hay. In like Baron, Baron soldiers. Uh, you'll be fighting all four of them at the same time. They only use physical attacks. Um, Baron, ba Baron soldier here, B, um, can hit everybody with an attack that does HP damage. Um, once the Baron soldiers are all gone, um, General will actually run away. Um, when the General leaves, the Baron, um, the soldiers will attack each other. Um, once you defeat all enemies,
and once you defeat all enemies or um, you defeat the Baron soldiers and general the general runs away, you win. Key to victory is um, and you defeat the soldiers first, and then uh, general the general use weak polka. Um, defeat very first Baron soldier B because he attacks everybody. I mean, you can you can slow general, um, and use um, Cecil's Ankoku attack, which and um, Tyro's um, Tornado Grimoire to attack everybody. Okay, nope, nope. Okay, then we have um, Octo Manmos right here. Uh, okay, it says that he uses only physical attacks, he can hit everybody. And the key to victory um, if one of your members are defeated, use My Raise. You do have My Raise in this battle. Uh, use Power Break to reduce its attack, and use Weak Polka. To reduce its defense. Okay. And last we have Ant. Ant Lion. It says that um, it you only use the physical attacks. Um, it can cause paralysis. It can hit everybody with a physical attack. Uh, once it attack once it receives a physical attack, it can counter. With this, Hangeki no Tsuno. Horn attack. Counter horn, I guess. Um, and um, the key to victory use um, the dance ability, this one, to increase your defense. Use Esuna if you are paralyzed and reduce your battle speed to one. Um, Ulala usually has all the um, all the dance abilities right here. Oh, I guess this time she has the summon, but um, um, she usually has those dance abilities. And then you get like a little special another one over here. Um, it has difficulty question question question, so I thought it was gonna be like an apocalypse apocalypse plus plus difficulty level, but it's just very simple. You can use any any um, any of your party members, and it, it, he will go down with one hit. So he's very weak. He's very weak, and you get Ulara actually on stage eight or is it eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here, you get Ulara right here. Stage eight. Okay. So those are pretty much all the bosses for um, the first um, the first island, the first island. So yeah. Okay. So uh, I guess it would take too long for me to upload all those um, boss videos, so that I decided to actually just defeat them and then do a little recap, like right now, of all the bosses in this battle in this island. Okay, so anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Please tune in next time and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please share this video, especially with those players who are playing the Japanese version of Final Fantasy Record Keeper. It will help them and me a lot. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.